it's midnight and I put makeup on just so that I could be sassy. Impromptu unhaul. Hi guys and welcome to Leanne bitches about books really late at night. Insomnia has been utterly kicking my ass for the last couple of days and so I've decided to kick it back by being uber productive whenever I'm awake. This means that I come to you today in my pyjamas in the eternal hopes that eventually I'll fall asleep while I'm filming. Apparently this is also the time when my cats eat their supper. I'm a little bit dubious about unhauls in general, not because I don't like to watch them because I love to watch them, but because I don't know how much you guys like to watch them. Sometimes for me I quite enjoy someone telling me what they didn't like about a book and why they wouldn't advise people to purchase it just as much as I like when people tell me all the things they do love about a book and convince me to buy them. Because sometimes there are five star reviews out the wazoo on Goodreads and then there's a couple of people who've rated it like one star and don't want to talk about it very much because backlash. Shouldn't be a thing is a thing. Let's move on. So what I have here is a really mixed bag of books. Not all of these I am getting rid of because I hate them. And uh, there are some in here that I definitely did hate and don't, don't recommend that you purchase. No. The first book that I have got to show you that I am parting with is this beautiful Proof of the Good People by Hannah Kent. I'm sad about this book. I am eternally sad about this book. I absolutely loved Burial Rites by Hannah Kent. It was my or one of my favourite books of the year that came out which I think is either 2014 or 2015 but don't quote me on that. And I had been waiting impatiently for a long time for Hannah Kent to bring out a new book. And then when it came out I was devastated because it was set in Ireland in like, I don't know, the 17, 1825, it feels earlier than that. I cannot read another sad Irish book. I just can't do it. And one of the other things that I really didn't like about this was that much more than in Burial Rites, Hannah Kent seemed to want to get all of the research that she had done into this book because she had granted done a crap ton of research. I've read her afterwards, but there was no like appendix or anything like that to explain there was no glossary and so I felt like I had to stop every two minutes and go and look up a word even though you know from context I could get the gist and it just bothered me it, it was very info dumpy I will say that the depictions of grief at the start of this book are incredible and I really really enjoyed them but it's just not for me next I've got one that I'm super salty about so about four months ago I read One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus which is not the book that I'm getting rid of but I read it and I really really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it and it sent me on a new discovery of YA fiction because it had been a long long time since I had purchased any new YA and I looked down my Goodreads friends list and I took recommendations. A lot of those recommendations I took from Kirsty at the Tea is also cursed and I'm very sad that I didn't ask her about this one before I picked it up. I'm super not there for spoiler alert. <laughs> I'm going to put my hand down when I stop talking about the spoilers. I'm super not there for the drowning fad that is currently going on in YA and I'm massive, massively not there for the glorification of suicidal thoughts and of one character managing to convince the other character that she should live but not being able to convince himself. Spoilers over, this one will be leaving my home. I'm also getting rid of a proof copy of The Night Wanderers by CJ Flood which I have had on my shelf for ages and ages and ages and I'm just not really that interested in picking up so that one's going. And now on to some books which I just outright hated. I'm currently working on a video which discusses the representation of women in thriller fiction and I'm not talking about women just as dead bodies, I'm actually talking about the representation of female bodies and why it's mostly not okay in the genre at the moment. And as part of that exercise I went through my shelves and I picked off a huge, huge amount of unread 
and some read thriller fiction and looked at the first couple of chapters to see what the representation was like. The following books failed miserably and will be leaving my house. The Luckiest Girl Alive by Jessica Knoll. What She Lost by Susan Elliott Wright. The Escape by C.L. Taylor. The Trophy Child by Paula Daly. They All Fall Down by Tammy Cohen. I would actually take a match to this one if I wasn't so clumsy I would worry about burning down my house. And Unfortunately, The Wife Between Us, which is actually a proof copy of a book which is not out yet and I was hoping to review and love and I'm now not going to be reviewing or loving. And while I was doing that little clear out, I discovered that I have two copies of The Ice Princess. That's what happens when they change the covers and you haven't read it yet so you don't completely remember all of the titles in the series. And lastly, during my thriller out of my shelves, I discovered a couple of books that after having read the first couple of chapters, I was very, very not interested in. I'm super not there for. Don't hate them, just I nothing them. I just nothing them and they are, they are leaving my house. The first one that I've got is Beside Yourself by Anne Morgan which is about twin girls who swap when they're younger and then one of them doesn't want to swap back and the parents can't tell the difference and it was just very convoluted and underwritten in some places and vastly overwrought in others so Falling by Emma Kavanagh, not a bad book, just not a very interesting one either. And then one I'm pretty sad about because this is a proof that I had. This actually comes or just came out at the end of January. This is What Doesn't Kill You by Amy Hicks. This one as well, as far as I'm aware, although I didn't get to it when I was testing it out, has um, some lesbian representation in it, I believe. So I was pretty excited about it for that reason. But it turns out as it happens that I didn't really gel with the writing and this is the year of me not forcing myself to do things that I don't want to do. So I will be parting company with this one. So y'all voted for an unhaul on my Instagram and uh, there's a quick plug. So if this was a video that you enjoyed, please let me know and as I clean out my shelves more as the, as the months go on this year, I will, I will show you all of them. I will gather them in piles and attempt not to throw them on the ground. So please let me know if there are any of the books in this haul which were books that you also didn't enjoy. Did I make a good call? Did I make a good call on some of the books that I decided I wasn't interested in anymore? Did I make a good call in all the bright places? I think I did. And until next time, I remain yours faithfully. L dot. That joke doesn't work because I don't use my last name on my channel. Okay. Bye! Ow, that really hurt. Why am I always injuring myself for my art?